Hello, today we're going to go over how to use the Quartz Electronic Evidence Portal. Prior to your hearing, you will need to complete the following. Prepare for your hearing. Review the guidelines, if any, for the courtroom you are assigned. Create an account in the Electronic Evidence Portal. Save your username and password and have it on hand to access the portal when necessary. Upload only the exhibits that you intend to present to the court during your hearing. Print copies of the exhibits list and exhibit receipt for your reference. Share your evidence with the opposing parties as necessary. Now, let's go over how to access the portal. For the best experience, we recommend using a desktop computer with a Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser. In order to access the portal, go to the Quartz Public website at www.occourts.org. When you enter the home screen, hover over the Online Services tab and click the Electronic Evidence Portal. From this screen, find the Click Here to Access Portal button located towards the bottom of the page and you will be redirected to the Electronic Evidence Portal login screen. Now, let's go over how to create an account. Please note, before we begin, be sure to check case initiating documents for case type, case number, and hearing dates. In order to create an account, click Sign Up. Under Identify Your Case, select the case type. Next, enter the exact case number, and then select the hearing date. Now click Submit. Please complete the Identify Yourself window by inputting your first name, your last name, your email address, or your cell phone number. Please read and review the agreement section and check the box. If you are providing a cell phone number, you should also review the cell phone agreement section as well. When you are finished, click Submit. Only an email or cell phone number is needed. However, if both are entered, the authentication code will be sent to the email address only. After clicking Submit, go to your email address and you will see an email to confirm your account. Open the email and then copy the confirmation code. If the activation key is not in your inbox, make sure to check the junk or spam folder to see if it was redirected there. Copy and paste the activation key from the email or cell phone and then enter your desired password. Confirm it. And then click Submit. Success! Your account is ready. Enter your password and then click Sign In. Once all of the steps have been completed, you will be redirected to the portal's home screen. Let's go over navigating the site. Please be aware, after 20 minutes of inactivity, users will automatically be logged out of the portal. Prior to this, users will receive a pop-up indicating the session will be expiring soon. To extend the session, please select Extend Session. Let's go over how to add a case. If you have questions at any point, select the question mark. The first step in uploading evidence is to add the case. Click Add Case slash Citation. Next, select the correct case type. Enter the full case number or citation number as listed on the case initiating documents and then enter the hearing date. Now click OK. A list of party names will appear. Select the checkbox next to the appropriate party name and then click Add. If uploading on behalf of two or more parties, select as many parties as necessary. In order for all parties to view exhibits, exhibits will need to be shared via the virtual viewing room. This will be discussed later in the video. 
Before we start uploading evidence, here are some do's and don'ts when it comes to the process. For do's, upload each exhibit individually, type a description of each exhibit, and print a receipt of the uploaded exhibits. For the don'ts, do not upload an exhibit list. The portal will generate a list during the upload process. Do not add an exhibit number to the exhibit description. This will be added automatically. Once the case is added successfully, you will begin to upload your exhibits into your case. To do so, click Upload. Confirm that your case number, hearing type, and party name are correct. And then click Next. Drag and drop the necessary files or open the necessary folder and select the appropriate files. Once they're done uploading, click Next. Make sure all appropriate evidence is uploaded to this set and then click OK. To avoid interruptions during the upload process, select all the necessary exhibits to upload at once. Once Next is clicked, additional exhibits may not be uploaded until this set has completed Step 6. Exhibits will automatically be numbered in the order that they are uploaded. Exhibits in the set may be rearranged into the desired order when step 5 is reached. Exhibits will not be considered uploaded until clicking Finish in step 6. After the files have been uploaded, type a unique description for each exhibit in the space provided under each image. The description should accurately identify the exhibit. It will also be used by you during your hearing to identify the exhibits you wish to present to the court. It will also be used by the portal to generate an exhibit list. When complete, click Next. To mark an exhibit as confidential or sealed, click the appropriate exhibit. Once a green check mark appears over the image, click Next. Using your cursor, you can renumber the exhibit by dragging the exhibits in the appropriate order, then click Next. Lastly, verify the exhibit number, description, and confidential status are accurate. If corrections are necessary, click the Previous button to update the information. Once you are satisfied with the exhibits, click Finish. After clicking Finish, a prompt will open stating Selecting this option will prevent further editing of exhibits. Please note that you cannot edit exhibits again once you select OK. Although you cannot edit the uploaded exhibits, you can add more later by clicking Upload at the beginning of the process. After clicking Finish, a window will appear indicating upload of the exhibits has been completed successfully. From this screen, click print records. It is important for you to print the receipt of uploaded documents to have on hand during your hearing. The assigned exhibit number and description entered should be referenced during your hearing. Let's go over the gallery view. To view all exhibits uploaded in the case, visit the court hearing screen and click view. To select all exhibits, Click the solid green check mark. To deselect exhibits, click the outline of the green check mark. To download the files onto your computer, select the exhibits you want to download by clicking on each exhibit image, then select the download icon. Type in the download reason, and this will subsequently download a zip folder with the appropriate exhibits selected. To print a receipt of all exhibits uploaded, select the printer icon. To view exhibits as a list rather than icons, select the icon with the image of a list. To view exhibits in gallery mode, select the picture icon. To view an exhibit in full screen, select the expand icon on the exhibit. 
use the rotate icon to spin the image as needed for appropriate view. Depending on the exhibit file, the icon may appear differently or in another area of the exhibit. The user may also view the video in full screen by pressing the film strip icon and then clicking enter full screen. Now let's go over printing your exhibit list. An exhibit list can be used to easily reference the exhibits uploaded in your case by the assigned exhibit number. It will list all exhibits you have uploaded. Bring a copy of the exhibit list to your hearing so you can reference the exhibit number when you present your evidence in court. To print the exhibit list, first click on the exhibit list icon. Depending on the kind of browser you are using, a PDF will generate either in the top right or bottom left of your screen. If you do not see it, it may have populated into a separate window. To print, select the print icon in the window that appears. Next, let's go over how to share exhibits. To share electronic exhibits uploaded to the portal with other parties on your case, use the Virtual Viewing Room feature. The first name, last name, and email address of the person the exhibits will be shared with are required. If the cell phone number of the party is available as well, it may also be entered. To share electronic exhibits using the Virtual Viewing Room, select the desired exhibits and select the share icon. Select the last date the exhibit should be available for viewing by others. Type in any notes if desired, and then click Next. Type in the first name, last name, and email address, and cell phone number if desired, of the party with whom exhibits will be shared. Select the toggle button next to cell phone or email under Authenticate Using to have the authentication pin for the party to access the exhibits, sent to either the party's email or cell phone. Now click Add User. When you are finished, click Submit. An email with the link to the virtual viewing room will be shared to the party whose information was entered. An authentication pin will also be sent. Parties must click the link they were sent and enter the pin number to access the exhibits. Now let's go over downloading and printing of exhibits. If the court requires printed copies of the exhibits with the case number and exhibit number, exhibits can be printed from the portal with a ribbon generated at the top of the exhibit. To place an electronic ribbon on the exhibits that will contain the case number and exhibit number, proceed with the following steps. First, select all exhibits that require the ribbon using the green check mark. Next, select the Generate Ribbon icon from the toolbar. A PDF of the exhibit will generate on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Click to open the document. The PDF may also populate into a separate window. Verify a ribbon with the case number and exhibit number appears at the top of the exhibit. And finally, print the PDF if necessary. Once you are done, there are two ways to log out of the portal. You can select the arrow in the upper right hand corner, or select the word Logout located in the left taskbar. If you have any further questions, refer to your assigned courtroom's individual policies and procedures posted on the Electronic Evidence tab of the court's public website. After you have finished uploading your exhibits to the Electronic Evidence portal, printing out your exhibit receipt and exhibit list, and sharing the exhibits with the opposing party as necessary. 
The next step is to prepare for your hearing date. On the hearing date, bring your account, username, and password in case you need to access the portal in the courtroom. Utilize the exhibit list and exhibit receipt to reference the assigned exhibit number for your evidence during your hearing. The court will determine who will share the exhibits in the courtroom. Once the court determines who will share the exhibits in the courtroom, please follow the applicable steps. Let's review how to present the exhibits for in-person hearings in the courtroom. To display and present exhibits when a party is instructed to display, you will need to utilize the court-provided laptops that are stationed on the table located in front of the judicial officer. The laptops will allow counsel and parties to connect to the electronic evidence portal. The court-provided laptops should also be connected to the evidence presentation equipment. Contact the courtroom personnel for assistance if the laptop is not functioning. The evidence presentation equipment to present your exhibits from the laptop will be located in the middle of the table. Prior to presenting exhibits, the projector screen will be lowered by the courtroom personnel and will be viewable by those present in the courtroom. To display an exhibit, Locate the presentation equipment and press the Council button with the arrow pointing towards whomever is intending to display the exhibit. For example, if you are sitting on the right of the evidence presentation equipment, push the button that says Council with the arrow pointing to the right. If the evidence you are going to present includes audio, the audio levels can be adjusted using the volume nozzle. Rotate the volume nozzle to the right to make it louder, or to the left to lower the volume. Clicking the Council button to display your exhibit will display whatever is currently displayed on your laptop screen. Ensure the items on the screen are ready to be displayed in the courtroom before you click the Council button. To stop displaying the laptop screen at any point, click the Council button again. Contact the courtroom personnel immediately if exhibits do not display after clicking the Council button, or if there are any issues with the volume. For parties appearing remotely for their hearing, Contact the courtroom personnel for further instructions. Proceed with the following steps when you are ready to display exhibits. Ensure the laptop or device used to access the portal is connected to the evidence presentation equipment. If the laptop appears to be malfunctioning or off, contact the courtroom personnel immediately. Using the laptop provided in the courtroom, log in to the electronic evidence portal prior to the start of your hearing. Enter the appropriate username and password and click Sign In. Please be aware, after 20 minutes of inactivity, users will automatically be logged out of the portal. Prior to this, users will receive a pop-up indicating the session will be expiring soon. To extend the session, please select Extend Session. In the Electronic Evidence Portal, Select the appropriate case in court hearings. Select the view option from the appropriate case to display exhibits in the gallery view. Once in gallery view, you may select the list view icon from the toolbar. To display a specific exhibit, click on the expand icon for the exhibit you wish to display and a pop-up of the exhibit will appear. Click enter full screen at the top right of the pop-up window to create a better view of the exhibit. Once in full screen, you will also have the option to rotate the exhibit. Depending on the size of the exhibit, the icon to rotate the image may appear differently. You can also go to the next exhibit by clicking on the right arrow on the right edge of the screen, or to the previous exhibit by clicking on the left arrow on the left edge of the screen. To exit the full screen view, select the X located at the top right of the screen. Prior to displaying an exhibit via the evidence presentation equipment, request permission from the court for each exhibit you wish to display. When your hearing is completed, don't forget to log out of the portal by selecting the log out button in the left margin or upper right hand corner of the screen. Now let's go over when displaying and presenting exhibits when the court displays 
on the party's behalf. Court-provided laptops are stationed on the table located in front of the judicial officer. The laptops will allow counsel and parties to connect to the electronic evidence portal. After 20 minutes of inactivity, you will be logged out of the electronic evidence portal. Prior to this, you will receive a pop-up indicating the session will be expiring soon. To extend the session, select Extend Session. Using the laptop provided in the courtroom, log in to the electronic evidence portal prior to the start of your hearing. Enter the appropriate username and password and click Sign In. In the electronic evidence portal, select the appropriate case in Court Hearings. Select the View option from the appropriate case to view exhibits in the gallery view. Navigating to the gallery will allow parties to follow along during their hearing and assist in directing the court in which exhibits the court will display on the party's behalf. Utilize the exhibit list and exhibit receipt and descriptions of exhibits as necessary to provide the court with the information regarding which exhibits need to be displayed. Once in gallery view, you may select the list view icon from the toolbar. To view a specific exhibit, click on the expand icon of the exhibit you wish to view, and a pop-up of the exhibit will appear. Click enter full screen at the top right of the pop-up window to create a better view of the exhibit. Once in full screen, you will also have the option to rotate the exhibit. Depending on the size of the exhibit, the icon to rotate the image may appear differently. You can also go to the next exhibit by clicking on the right arrow on the right edge of the screen, or to the previous exhibit by clicking on the left arrow located on the left edge of the screen. To exit the full screen view, select the X located at the top right of the screen. When the hearing is concluded, log out of the portal by selecting the arrow in the upper right hand corner, or the logout option on the left taskbar. If you have any further questions, refer to your assigned courtroom's individual policies and procedures posted on the Electronic Evidence tab of the court's public website. Thank you for watching.